Hello and welcome to the demo for Nights Within. Um, this is for Steve Next Fest. I'm getting a little, little head start. Um, I think it's like a solo dev. I think that's what it said. So I mean, like I'm, I'm definitely going into this with uh, relatively kind of hopefulness. All right, so we have one map, limited progression, and um, attack info with defense. Ooh, I, I'm not gonna actually look at the uh, anything. I just feel like we just be able to jump right into it. A mode patrol single player. I, I'm gonna do single player, and we'll, we'll begin. Oh, is it a dog? Oh, can I pet the dog? Oh, we can say good boy. With the dog. I mean, we can't pet it, but that's still pretty cool. I will say I haven't seen too many third-person shooters uh, for Next Fest uh, this this particular outing. At least not yet. So I'm, you know, kind of kind of hopeful here. I'm assuming these charges are our... Alright, there we go. Let's see if that's a little better. It doesn't really seem like it went down too much. Alright, I thought we had somebody. I see someone that let me shoot him. It's actually really um, satisfying um, gunplay. I wasn't sure what to expect there, but it actually uh, that, that was pretty good. Felt uh, quite good. Seems like all the enemies die with um two hits, no matter what. Like regardless of where I'm oh well, never mind, this guy takes more than two hits. It almost seems like that I should just kind of stick with the sword. Alright, I'm just going to run and see if I can't figure out where I'm going here. Alright, mission objective is fine and complete these to progress. Sweet. I mean, I will say that it's, it feels pretty cool, like the combat's uh, not too bad, it feels relatively nice. Um, I will say it feels uh, very much like 
uh, this would be relatively impossible to really play um, so solo for at least any kind of real length of time. made it to where no more enemies are going to show up because uh, I'm too much of a badass. Never mind. That guy's running away. Okay, we can call in a bunch of stuff, which is cool, and we're on our way to our final charge station. I mean, overall, like, it's 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 kind of cool. Like, it feels, um, you know, nice enough. Uh, the combat is, you know, relatively satisfying. I will say that, um, I wish this gun was not semi-automatic, and I wish it was just straight-up automatic. Uh, it does feel nice to shoot things, though, and the sword combat is, is, you know, decent enough. Dang, that guy got away. Alright, so I did all three objectives. And now there are three more objectives. So it's just like more of the same stuff, it looks like. Oh no, now we're going to download something. Ooh, I bet it's exactly the same though. Like, I mean. I don't know. I mean, it's. Uh, I definitely like that there is um, so much stamina, uh, so I can certainly make it a, a pretty, pretty far away before my guy gets sleepy. This kind of reminds me a little bit of like a low key. Um, kind of casual version of uh, chivalry um, if it was just PvE based. It's probably a bad comparison, but I don't know, it kind of kind of makes me think of it a little bit that way. Uh, I'll go to the charge. with like how powerful the uh, sword is, I mean, it's, it's hard to imagine that you would actually use uh, the gun. I guess if you have multiple people playing, you would be more likely to use it, uh, but... I think these guys are gonna kind of succeed here in uh, kind of killing me. All my shield is gone. Yeah. We're gonna do like an all your bases uh, belong to us kind of situation. Or all your base are belong to us. Oh, 
objective complete, and now we go to our death because you know I'm. There's no way I'm gonna really make it much further. I'm just kind of gonna let these guys die, and we'll see what happens after you die. Um, but my thoughts on this would be pretty much that if you have friends to play with, I think I recommend it. Um, if you're playing by yourself, you may not have as good of a time with it, I think, as you would to be with other people. Because if I had some people to play with, I feel like this would be much better uh, because I would be able to have somebody kind of, you know, assist me. Uh, somebody could be kind of focused on some some ranged weaponry and then you'd have your people who deal with, um, you know, enemies when they get close. in support here. Well, that's that's unfortunate. I wonder if I have to do it like outside of this into this control area or maybe it's because I'm getting it controlled. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea where I have to be in order to send the support. That's kind of a downer. Oh. Oh, there it is. There's our support. I don't know how to use it. Oh, okay. It just hadn't... Hadn't spawned yet. All right. like you have this ability to uh, do a kind of um, strong attack but it, that's kind of misleading because it seems to not really do anything when you try um, so I'm thinking it's not really a thing that you can do I don't know what's going to happen after I get this last um, this last set of objectives Those are really quick. Yeah, they got some Google Fiber going on. I know there's a lot of other companies that do um, fiber. I guess on other places. We got a place that like just opened up around us, uh, but it doesn't hit my doesn't hit my exact location. And they offer like some high-speed internet, and it would be really cool to get like some gigabit internet. Had it before, it's really nice. Alright, so we've we've done this. I'm selecting the beacon. Oh, you know, these are things that I apparently um I haven't been activating. Interesting, and now we're waiting for instruction. I guess we'll just go to the other beacons and uh, kind of do stuff. I feel like uh, there's a possibility uh, that I've just... <laughs> I, I feel like there's a possibility that the game uh, didn't expect for uh, anybody to survive this long. And maybe that was the... Um, maybe that's what's going on. I am eternal. Or not. Oh, we got this guy. Ooh, look at him with his magical thing. 
Uh, it would have been very useful to, um, I guess, uh, take on the beacons leading up to now. Uh, certainly seems like this fallen enforcer has uh, quite a bit of damage capabilities and what he can do. Kind of cool. I definitely uh, should have made use of these beacons before, but I didn't realize uh, that I could in the way that I that I did. Oh well, I'm out of I'm out of juice now, anyway. Where's that guy going? He's... Alright. Well, we'll just get killed by this guy. Oh, we can knock him down and make him go sleepy time. Yeah, I know I'm gonna die, so I'm just... Just kinda taking it, you know? I actually think it might be possible for me to actually survive, um... Had I done things slightly different. But there we go, that was the experience... Warriors with that. Right? Nice for them. Oh, man, I got the title wrong. Uh, cool little stat screen of a bunch of different information. We'll see what happens when we get back to the keep. Yeah, like I said, I think this would be really good uh, with another player with a couple of friends. I think you'll have a really good time with it. Um, we do get uh, some progression, which is nice. Uh, let's go check out the uh, armory and the progression and see what happens with those. Custom has our loadout. <clears throat> Alright, uh, firearm, longsword. You need a bunch of different levels uh, in which to buy these types of things. Okay, well, that's, that's cool. customization for our character which will be nice you need to learn some manners all right well yeah I mean that's an, I think that's a pretty decent look at um <laughs> I think it's a pretty good look at nights within um yeah like I said I think it's um, definitely something you would have a good time with uh playing with other friends or other people um but even in as a single player game it's still you know pretty entertaining um this definitely is a recommendation for me uh the link's in the description if you want to try it i encourage you to do that and thanks for watching